Hello, my name is Maria from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson we are studying adding and subtracting rational numbers. That means fractions and decimals. And we're going to have negative fractions and negative decimals. First, I have here an easy addition problem. Negative one-half plus three-fourths. And we're going to solve it on the number line using number line jumps, right? For that, I need to first find negative one-half on the number line and then jump three-fourths to the right, towards the positive. Negative one-half, it would be here between these two, right there. And then to jump three-fourths, I need to divide each interval here into four parts to get fourths, right? Kind of like that. Okay. And now from here, a jump of three-fourths, over there. So my answer is one-fourth. Want to try this one yourself? Find negative one-fourth on the number line. And then you need to subtract, which means to move towards the left, towards more negatives on the number line. Negative one-fourth. Should be here, right? And then one and one half towards the negatives. So if I go from here to here, that's one, and then half more over here. And what fraction is it? It's negative one and three fourths. And our last one start at negative one, one fourth, and then add three fourths or jump towards the right. Negative one and one fourth would be here, and then three fourths, ding, 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 over there. That's where we started with the first problem, so that's negative one half. Now let's do some decimals. This one is easy, negative three tenths, or 0 0.3, minus negative eight tenths. There's some negatives, and some more negatives. That's how I think about it. So therefore, I will add these plain numbers, so to speak, or the absolute values. I will add 3 tenths and 8 tenths. I get 1 and 1 tenth, 1.1. But it's all going to be negatives, so the answer is negative, right? Negatives and more negatives. Now this one is a little bit trickier. It is a plain subtraction problem, it looks like. But this number is smaller than that. So then our answer will be negative, right? It's like if, you are, if I had 2 minus 5. What we need to do, because this is a bigger number, we need to actually subtract these numbers, but take the answer as negative, right? So that is what I would do. And we get 4 here, 8 there. So the answer is negative 0 0.84. Next one, minus 1.6 minus minus 0 0.2, or subtracting negative 2 tenths. Do you remember the shortcut for the double negative? When we're subtracting a negative, you can just write a big plus there, okay? So now we get minus 1.6 plus 0 0.2. I think of this like a number line problem. I'm here, and then I move two tenths to the right, towards the positives. So my answer is less negative, and I get 1.4. Negative 1.4, sorry. This last one, do you know how to do that? Just think of your integer addition. If this was saying negative 78 plus negative 2, how would you do it? and do it the same way when it is decimals. We have a negative number and we add more negatives. So all we need to do is add the plain numbers, so to speak, or add the absolute values and take the whole answer as negative. And add 2.4 here. So we get 8. So we get 3.18, but it's all negatives, right? Here's an addition problem with money amounts. And this might come from, for example, 
a bank that is calculating somebody's bank account or credit card account, there's positives and there's negatives, okay? Negatives would be when the money goes out and positive would be when the money comes in or the balance that was there to begin with. And to deal with this kind of addition where there's lots of negatives or more than one, we first figure out the total for the negatives, so to speak, which means I add these two numbers. I take the absolute values and add to get the total for the negatives. We have 58. 0 0.90 and then 23.17 okay so these are all negatives I'm gonna put negatives here because it's negative $82.07 and then here's my positive and here's my negative and I'm adding them I can see that the negatives will win right but by how much? For that, I will now subtract the absolute values of these, or the plain numbers, I will subtract. So we will take 82.07 and 14.20 and subtract here. 7 and 8. Seven. Oops. Here. Now, is this the final answer? No, it's not. But it's almost right. This is the final answer. If I take it negative, the final answer is negative that many dollars, sixty-seven point eight seven.